So you want to make some heavy basses for your dubstep track. Maybe you're making a complexion track or you need some heavy basses for your melodic dubstep. Don't worry, I got you covered. My Focusrite interface crashed. I'm having problems with my Focusrite interface. But it should be working now. Let's see if audio is coming in. So I have here my basic shape. I'm going to take it down two octaves for the lower for the lower bass region. However, you can just go down in the octave of your MIDI controller, however you prefer when producing. I'm just used to using a negative two here on the basic shapes. So now we can do various things. Since this is going to be an FM um, synth that I'm going to be making here, I'm going to add the FM from B here. I'm going to add oscillator A with a basic shape also. And a good combination here. So for example, we can use the saw to saw, the square to square, just combining different wave shapes here. The basic shapes are great because you can combine them, all of the different basic shapes here and create different textures. And you can then add macros to these to really change up the sound during the drop. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it to square to square. And I really like that movement that's happening here. So I'm going to add a LFO here set to trigger. And we can now add a sync here on the oscillator beat. And a good tip is to set the random off in FM um, synthesis so that it always triggers on the same note. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some unison voices to both of these. This is going to create a nice little phase effect that I can control here with macro one. So now I'm going to set this to detune. It's going to create that cool little laser sound. We can have it controlled with the LFO here. We can control it the width here and it's good to set it not to 100 but a lower value like for example 50 percent for this tutorial is going to be a good number it's going to give us a little bit a little bit of stereo but it's not going to be super wide and super crazy it sounds a little bit messy on the low end so now i'm going to add a high notch and this high notch is going to control both the high end and the mid And we can add a resonance here to create a valve movement to give it some tonality. And now I'm gonna add a notch because this is gonna really carve out the sound that I want. going to add some OTT inside of Serum. And there's two ways that you can increase the volume of a patch. You can increase a gain or you can lower the threshold. You can create a little bit of control here on the patch by adding the MG low filter. This is going to control a little bit of the artifacts and the sound. I'm going to add a low bass here, a sub. And it's going to have a different LFO here from the first one. I'm going 
gonna add some distortion. And I'm gonna add some hyperdimension controlled by the LFO. So that they, at the start it sounds very wide and it goes a lot mo more mono. It's a really nice one-shot bass that I'm creating here so far. Now I can add, maybe after the distortion, a second vowel here. We can add a little bit of white noise here to this patch. Now we can, for example, change up here and try out, for example, the saw. I'm not a huge fan of the amount of bright noise. I'm going to turn it way down. So using the triangle saw here gives it a nice little clean result. But if I use the square combination, is a nice little grittier sound so it all depends on the mood of the track um that i'm working on so i have both alternative there and now the next step that i would do when creating this bass i can consider this bass finished like this bass is completely done it's completely usable i can add now macros to for example switch up here Just as I said and I mentioned. And it can, for example, change the sync. And it can create sort of a call and response with just this single bass here. But. I can go a step further and post-process this space. And I made a really awesome post-processing video that you can check out. And so you're in luck because I made a really awesome post-processing video that you can check up in the link over here. So if you want to see how you can take a base like this and post-process it and make it go from this to here, like way over the top, it's really easy. You can check out the video. But that's not the topic for this video. We're focused on creating a serum base. So say that you're not happy with this base or you want to create a variation. So let's duplicate this. Um, one of the first things that I think when duplicating and creating a secondary base from my first main base, um, I already created macros here for the main base here. So what do I do next? Um, the second obvious thing that I would do is change here the filter. And one really good filter that you can use is the band filter here. It's a fantastic filter for these types of sounds. Maybe the band 12 works better. And now the thing about the band pass filters here is that it's very important for you to add OTT in post because it's not going to sound impressive without some post processing. It's going to create some really awesome Bases just by using the band pass here, and I can show you by adding a OTT. Maybe you can create the three OTT technique here. So I can take those three OTTs, I'm going to group them together.
and it can use my secret artifacts patch here that's gonna go before the OTT. Can turn up the fat. And it's created a really awesome FN base here. And I can always use a macro. I can add a reduce ambience after to clean it up a little bit. And I honestly like it more with the band 12. And I'm giving you guys a little teaser on post-processing. You can watch the full video in the link up here. Ah, oh, this is something awesome. And this is the thing about creating presets is that you can go very experimental. You can really play around with the patch. And that's pretty much the process when you're creating some FN bases or you're creating heavy growl bases or any kind of bases. It's just experimenting and sort of following a very, very wide spectrum of sound design. So as I mentioned in the start of the video, I knew I wanted to create a FN base. So I chose some basic shapes here. So I used my FM wave shapes here. And then I added some really simple techniques. So I'm using some specific filters that I know I'm, are going to complement and are going to work very well with the FM sound. I added some very basic effects here and I am sort of intentionally thinking on what I want to do. So for example, I know that I want the hyper to really control the wideness of the sound. I know that I want the OTT to sort of squish the sound and the filter and EQ to sort of sculpt and play around with the harmonics and the frequencies. And then I can go ahead and duplicate the sound and change the filters, change the different sculpting elements that I'm using to craft my sound. So that I can then take here my post-processing and use the post-processing here on my main patch. And I got two completely different FN bases here using the same techniques, using this essentially the same presets, just slightly modified, slightly altered, and slightly manipulated. And I get two patches using the same post-processing in this video. And it's completely different results just by changing the filter type and the filter modulation. And you can go even crazier and just change the LFO curve. So for example, if I drag this LFO curve, like this, it's gonna create a really cool sort of froggy FM effect. And of course, since I'm routing it to the sub to the out, it's gonna crunch it and gonna create it, but... And just like that, it's so easy to create a whole bunch of different presets that you can use for your tracks. And the really awesome part about this is that you can save each one as an individual preset. 
So that when you're fully focused on creating your dubstep drop or your dubstep track, you already have the presets made. So you don't have to spend a lot of time in sound design and you can spend that time in actually creating the song and actually creating the track and making a full song with the presets that you already made here inside of Serum. So there you have it. If you guys like this video and want more tutorials, comment what you want to see next. I'm always reading the comments and creating a whole bunch of tutorials to help you guys elevate your music to the next level. And you can check out some really awesome wavetables. You can get some really awesome professionally crafted presets and you can get all the tools you need to create your next banger at blackletterisaudio.com. This was Rafael from Black Lotus Audio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one.